Starring Tommy Rettig as Jeff Miller. Jan Clayton as his mother, Ellen. George Cleveland as Gramps. And, of course, Lex. Hi, Graham. Hi there. Can I borrow a wrench? Uh, my chain's loose on my bike. I gotta fix it. Well, use what you like, but be sure you put it back where you got it. Okay. Come on, girl. <laughs> side of the Panama Canal is more west than the Pacific side? Yes, that always confused me at school. I think it'd be the other way around, wouldn't you? Oh, okay, sweetie. There you are. Thanks, Mom. Gotta fix my bike. Come on, Lassie. Deaf as a post when he wants to be. Dad, what am I going to do about him? What now? Oh, clothes all over his room, icebox doors left open. Just carelessness about everything. <laughs> well, that ain't exactly news. He took all those tools to not fix his bike chain. Then he changes his mind and goes on over to Porky's. <laughs> Maybe he'd notice it if you just left them there where they are. I can't do that. I use them myself. Besides, they get rusty. I tell you, I have corrected that boy until I feel like the typical nagging mother. There must be some way to make him realize. Well, you let me know when you figure it out, will you? Just a total disregard for other people's things. More like downright don't care. Is it just a thoughtless stage, Dad? Will he ever outgrow it? Not if you don't pull him up short, he won't. Dad. Now, look, Ellen, I'm busy. I've got things to do. I can't... Uh... When Jeff comes back... Yeah? Find something for him to do that'll keep him busy for about 15 minutes so I can be alone with Lassie. It's a big honor. Part of the ignition system. Oh. Are you gonna pull through from underneath or something? Well, maybe. Hey, you hold it a, a minute, will you? Okay. Well, if all I have to do is hold it, couldn't I just loop it around here like that? Uh, well, uh, no. I I, I might want to get it kind of kind of sudden, like you see. Well, if you do, all you have to do is jerk it loose like that. See? Well, is that all you wanted me to do? Uh, yes, uh, for the minute. Okay. Now, here, Lassie, take it. That's it. Now, take it into Jeff's room. Here, Lassie. Come on, girl. 
It took him only five shakes to figure out he wasn't needed. Never mind. Tomorrow's another day. Well, what's less he got to do with it? You just wait and see. More coffee? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Jeff, you're going to be late for school. I'm coming. Jeff, you are one of the few people I know who hangs his clothes on the floor. Well, well that's my old jacket. What, what difference does that make? Does Grant hang his old overalls on the floor of the barn? That's just a waste of good breath. Never saw a boy yet that took care of his things. I don't know about that. I got an A in neatness in school. That's just it. You devote all your neatness to school, and we get none of it here. Jeff, you've just got to learn that there's a place for everything. Yeah, that reminds me, there's a place for me on that ornery truck again, too. Oh, uh, there's an old country saying, boy, if you don't put back what you use or borrow, you ain't gonna find it come tomorrow. You catch on? Oh, speaking of borrowing, I wonder if you'd lend me Lassie for the day. Lend you Lassie? Oh, no, Mom, she goes to school with me. She always does. Well, I think maybe she could be absent for one day. Couldn't you, girl? See? She agrees. Well, can you tell me why you want her? Well, I could, but it's not important. Well, it's not important? What do you want her for? Look, if I have to go through a Spanish Inquisition just to borrow Lassie for a few hours, I forget about it. Besides, we don't have time to talk about it. You're late as it is. Goodbye, Mom. Goodbye, dear. Oh, Jeff. I'm oh, sorry. Well, come on. Oh. Gosh, hang it. Ah, uh, now, Dad, don't lose your temper. Well, who wouldn't when a hunk of machinery makes up its mind to get stubborn? <laughs> Here comes Jeff. Now, don't forget your part. The trap's all set. Hi, Mom. Graham. Hi, hey. sweetheart. Well, how'd it go today? Oh, fine. I gotta go over to Porky's right away. Here. Oh, well, I have something I want you to do for me first. Oh, but he's got a new white rat and it won't eat. Oh, really? Now, that is sad. But let's get the chores done first. What kind of chores? Oh, you won't mind. The roof's full of leaves and... Well, if it rains, we'll all drown. Okay. Oh, no, Lassie. Oh, she'll be all right, Mom. She climbs ladders all the time. Oh, I'm afraid she has too many legs to be safe on the ladder. Oh, she'll be okay. Oh, maybe, but how would you feel if she fell? And you be careful, too. Okay. I'll be down in a little while, girl. Come on, Lassie. Right now, Lassie, these things don't belong here, but I put them here for a purpose. Now, pick up the slipper. Pick it up. There. Now, take it to Jeff's room, Lassie. Jeff's room. <laughs> That's a good girl, Lassie. Good baby. Now pick up the spoon. Pick it up. Now take it to the sink, Lassie. Come on, Lassie. Oh, that's a good girl. A very good girl. Now come on over here. I want you to pick up the towel, Lassie. Pick it up. I'm all through, Mom. Oh, well, wouldn't you like something to eat? Oh, no, I don't think so. I'll 
I'll just have an apple. I've got to go right over to Porky's. Were you feeding Lassie in between meals? Oh, well, I just uh, gave her a little reward because she's been an especially good dog. Oh, oh I've got to go. Come on, Lassie. Come on, Graham. Oh, it's on, boy. Ellen. Ellen. Did you call me? Yeah, what happened? Unfortunately, there weren't enough leaves on the roof. Meaning what? Meaning he barged in too soon. I was getting on fine with Lassie. <laughs> Look, if this is a secret, it's all right with me, but I just can't quite figure where Lassie fits into it. Well, it's, it's very simple. I can't teach him to hang up his clothes and put his things away. And you can't teach him to replace the tools that he's used. So? So? I thought maybe Lassie might be able to do it. Are you suffering from the heat or something? No, as a matter of fact, I think it's a brilliant idea, and if it works, I'm going to patent it. Just think, have your dog train your child. Good idea, hmm? Oh, hogwash. Why not? You see, we're grown-ups. Everything we tell him goes in one ear and out the other. What do grown-ups know about anything? But Lassie's his friend, his, his buddy, his confidant. And if she sets him a good example, well, it just might very well do the trick. Well, how are you going to work it? I'm training Lassie to pick up things and put them in their proper places. And I am hoping and praying that some of Lassie's neatness will rub off on Jeff. Well, I'll take off my hat to you if it works. If it doesn't work, I may give him away. I am tired of picking up after that young man. It's clouding up, honey, and there isn't enough light for you to do that fine work. Why don't you bring it into the kitchen? That's look like rain, doesn't it? I'll spread some papers on the table. Oh, drat the thing. Why don't you give up and get Clay Horton to help you? Well, first off, Clay Horton's in Capital City. And second off, I'm going to fix my own truck or bus, that's all. Hi, what's for supper? How in the world did you get that jacket so filthy? Oh, well, Porky's new rat wouldn't eat, so we cleaned out an old water tank. What? Well, Porky got oh, a rat and... Uh, never mind, wash up. Supper's almost ready. Come on, girl. Well, couldn't you get Purdy Timmons to help you? No. Sneakers away, is that it? Oh, I can take a hint. Is that it? Oh, I think that's wonderful. You're a very, very good dog. You won't have to worry now, Mom. She'll keep me neat, won't you, girl? <laughs> oh, Jeff, honey, 
would you mind reading in your room? All right. Time has come for all good women to give their parlors a cleaning. Did you take that spoon back to the kitchen? Pretty Timmons out here to get that truck running. Well, you may find that Lassie's moved the phone. <laughs> now you can stop it. Come on, give that to me. Will you stop? There's nothing wrong with the distributor, Mr. Miller. No. Trouble's in the fuel pump. Oh. Where's that small wrench? Small wrench? Um, uh... Jeff, you got that small wrench over there? Yeah, Gramps. Here, Lassie, take it to Gramps. Ratchet wrench. Ratchet wrench. I had one in my hand a minute ago here. Jeff, you got that ratchet wrench? No, Gramps. It ain't. Wonder where it is. It couldn't have walked off by itself. Let me turn up. Why she put it away, Gramps? Right in the tool rack where it belongs. That was a good girl. Do I have to hold this thing all day? No. Just keep the chain tight, that's all. Lassie, will you let those tools alone? Lassie! See, why don't you boys go over and fix your bike at Porky's place? My pop's fixing the tractor. That's why we're over here. Well, all right. But look, if Lassie picks up one more tool, you're going elsewhere. Now, that's final. I'll well. watch her, Gramps. I promise. Well, how would you busy working people like to break up the morning with some cookies and milk, hmm? Oh, that'd be great, Mrs. Miller. Here, Dad. Thank you. Oh, Porky, I don't suppose you'd want a cookie. Why would I? Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, my goodness. Dad, are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt. I'm just mad, that's all. Oh, now, Dad. Now, don't now, Dad, me. Now, you listen. Oh, I'm sorry, Gramps. Lassie was just trying to be neat. You can't go around half killing people just to be neat. Well, now, it won't happen again, honey. You bet it won't. And from now on, you learn, Lassie, to keep you neat and nobody else. Yes, Gramps. Oh, honey. The only thing good about it is that Gramps didn't get hurt. Of course, Jeff. I'm sorry, I didn't see that roller coaster thing on the ground. I guess grown-ups know more than kids, all right. But they sure don't understand everything. Yeah, like me being hungry all the time. How do they expect Lassie to just keep me neat and nobody else? Well, I guess you couldn't, unless you went around saying no all the time. Do that and she thinks she was being punished. It's a real problem. Well, Gramps is serious, too. Well, that's what makes it a real problem. Well, all I can do is try. Here, Lassie, girl. Watch. You do the same thing. 
I was a good girl, yes. No, Lassie! Lassie, no! Your porky, you throw it again. Picnics are wonderful. Yeah. You know, we seem to have so much fun together. Anyway. Even at the office. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what have we got here? A collie retriever. That's the milk garden I just threw away. <laughs> Mary, there's something I've been... Uh-oh. Company again. <sighs> Well, what I started to say was that something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes? For some time now, and I... Oh, for... Doggy, will you please go away and leave us alone? Well, you heard what the lady said. Don't throw it. She'll only bring it back again. <laughs> You're probably right. I'm gonna fool you. I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> well, as I was saying, Ever since I got that raise at the office, I... Gosh, now it's paper plates. <laughs> Look, Mary, you and I have been going around together for almost a year now. And... A real happy year, Jack. Yeah, for me, too. So now I want to ask you... <sighs> Look, I'm getting sick and tired of this. First milk cartons and paper plates, and then now this. This ceases to be funny, now scram! Hey, mister, don't you throw anything at her. That's your dog? That's right, and you can't treat her like that. All right, then get her out of here, huh? Why should I? She's just picking up all this dirty stuff you throw around. Look, Sonny, when I need lessons in neatness, they won't come from you or a dog. But you did throw something now at her. Now, look, you kids, scram, huh? Take your dog and beat it. Oh, come on, Jeff, let's go. No, I belong here. This farm belongs to my come grand. Come on. <laughs> can't get away with this. That dog attacked me and I'll have her put away. Oh, Jack, calm down. I won't calm down. I'm going to the police. Well, you don't have to look any farther. I'm a deputy constable. Oh, constable, fine. Then do something. That dog tried to tear me to pieces. What did you do? Lassie was just picking up the stuff they threw around. And then he threw a bottle at Lassie. And then he got mad and tried to push us. And that made Lassie think he was hurting me. Is that about what happened? Ah, yeah, except it leaves out about that part about the dog tramping all over us, dropping dirty plates in our lap, and then ruining our picnic. <laughs> it looks to me like you ruined your own picnic, young fella. Mr. Miller's right. I don't think you have any cause for complaint. I've got plenty of cause when two kids and a dog can Now, come now, don't go shifting the blame onto them. As far as I can see, you're the only one who's committed a crime. Crime? What crime did I commit? Number one, trespassing. Number two, littering up okay. the countryside. As far as I can see, Lassie was only trying to show you how to leave a place the way you found it. He's right, Jack. We were pretty messy. Well, we don't mind folks picnicking. Glad to have them, as long as you respect property. All right, I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Come on, Purdy. We've got to get that truck fixed. Right. I'm sorry. I was a little rough, kid. That's OK. We'll help you clean up. <laughs> Mess cleaned up? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Lassie? Lassie Miller, just look at this. You were so busy reminding everybody else to put their things away that you forgot yourself. I'm ashamed of you. Now put it where it belongs. Go on. Good girl, Lance. 